Hello everybody, James White here with Liberty First Realty, and I'd like to welcome you to our Portland Market Report for January 2016. So we kick off this uh, year, 2016, in January with low inventory again. It's been really the story uh, for the last year. This month, we have, on average, throughout our four-county area, 1.8 months worth of inventory. Uh, that's all market segments, uh, condos, single family residents, uh, residential manufactured on properties, etc. So we take that uh, into consideration, it's extremely low. What 1.8 months of inventory really means to you is if no homes listed for the rest of the month, it would take 1.8 months to sell off every property that's currently on the market, assuming sales continue at the prior month's pace. Uh, to give you a little idea of what 1.8 means, if we are in a balanced market where there's really no advantage to the seller or to the buyer, our month's worth of inventory would be roughly between six and nine months of inventory on market. That's what we would consider and the industry considers a balanced market. So that gives you just a little uh, information and idea about that. So what I'd like to do uh, is during this year of, of 2016 is really just take us through this market report and uh, understand what each, each segment actually means to you, uh, whether you're buying as an investor, uh, for primary residence um, or fix and flip type investments, whatever. So let's start with the uh, local region breakdown and we'll go over that a little bit so we can understand what that actual report means. So here we have home sales by region, January, 2016. And what we've done is break up each region. Oh, excuse me. Is break up each region uh, by MLS market segments. So we have North Portland, Northeast, Southeast, Milwaukee, you get the idea. And for each of these segments, you can see the number of homes that have sold in those various areas for the month of January, the current number in January of active listings available on market, and for each regional segment, what the months of inventory are for that, and the median sale price, average days on market. So you can see just by scanning this relatively quickly that Lake Oswego has 3.82 months of inventory as compared uh, to, to what? We've got North Portland with less than a month's worth of inventory on the market. So you can see the solds out outpace the active listings clearly. And the days on market are significantly lower here than they are in uh, Lake Oswego, West Lynn at 46 days. So you, you get the idea of what this does for you. And if you take a look at the color coding in the key below, you can see that each color coding tells you whether you're in an extreme seller's market with high appreciation, which is the majority of the region, or uh, for Lake Oswego, West Lynn, we have a normal seller's market, but it's still weighted towards the sellers with moderate appreciation. Uh, so we can talk about strategy between listing and buying when you're in those various market segments. Okay, I'd like to uh, take you down a little bit to, let's take a look at, uh, at this micro report, which gives us information by zip code. It excludes short sales, as you can see, so it's really based on resale activity for normal market properties. And if we just scan down, well, actually, let's take a look right here. This is really interesting. So you've got this zip code in Beaverton, 97008. It has almost half a, half a month's worth of inventory available. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on price from buyers making multiple offers of increased over list price uh, offers in that particular area if they want to have an opportunity to even buy a property there. So you want to know that information as a seller when you're listing to strategize and list appropriately. And you want to know that as a buyer if you're having to buy in that market area and it's how quickly you have to move. 
But if we scan down to like uh, 97086 or we move into Sherwood as an example, which is 97140, there's 3.47 months of inventory. Extremely low still, but in today's market, it's on the upper side of, of inventory. So you may have a better opportunity as a buyer in Sherwood to negotiate price and terms slightly better than you would uh, in that Beaverton market segment. And as a seller, if you're in Sherwood, you're going to want to pay closer attention to what your competition is when you're listing your property for sale. Taking all your attributes and your property condition and all that into account, we want to make sure that you are properly pricing your property so that you're not selling your neighbor's house, you're actually going to maximize your value at sale for your house. So some things to consider. Anyway, until next month, I'm James White. If you peruse the report and have any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 503-278-5342. Until next month, you have a great, uh, great afternoon, and I will hopefully talk to you soon. Bye-bye.